a quick sweep of a little beach. Right, this was the last sweep for the big stuff. I was losing all faith in humanity when um, a couple that were walking on the beach did... Uh, oh, it's a bottle top. Did pick up a couple of big things before they left. They picked up some wood and stuff, which I have no issue with. I do the same. Uh, but yeah, they picked up a couple of big bits that were over there that I hadn't got to yet because they were near the bin. My back has said it's had enough, so anything else is going to have to stay. It's better than it was. This is part two of a video that got a little bit too long to go all in one go, so I split it into two. If you haven't seen part one yet, then go check that out. They're totally watchable, separate from each other, but it has some really awesome footage in it you don't want to miss out on. So many shells. The size of some of them. Wow. They're just stunning. <laughs> oh, look at the purples in this one. This one's for you, Tiggs. <laughs> Hope you enjoy looking at that one. It's incredible. Hiya. <laughs> Where are you off to? Sorry, I did disturb it. It was just over there. There's some super cool shapes in the rocks just here. I like this. Look, there's like a hole through there. <laughs> okay, it totally makes me want to climb up there, which you're probably not allowed to do. And like, get to it. I don't have the right shoes on for that, but still tempting. Jack friend, how you doing? You look like you've got seaweed all around your bill. <laughs> Do you mind me coming a little closer? Maybe a little bit. This might sound a little crazy, but I just got very excited about the fact that I had to put the blind up during the day because it is so hot and I'm going to pop out for a bit. And the sun coming through there is making the van a little bit too toasty in February. It's like unheard of in my life. It is crazy sunny today and my van was getting very, very hot. Um, I made a... Uh, can't do words because I know there's people right behind me even though they probably can't understand me. Um, <laughs> I made a new curtain when I was at my parents place in January to go um, behind the cab section. I made it with blackout fabric so it works great for light uh, also for temp so it keeps the cold out and it keeps some of the heat out but earlier I just thought the sun was so nice <laughs> I didn't have it across and then the van kind of hit that point where it was like Oh, it's hot. I'm not used to this in February. Um, I'm right by the sea and I want to go for a swim. I was like, no, Kiki, you need to work. Have a video to finish. And then I went, but it's the kind of weather that... Okay, it's windy, but if I can get in the sea, it'll be really nice. And it's warm enough and breezy enough that wetsuits and stuff should dry. So... But the tide is currently a long way out. Where I'm parked, there's a beach right near it, but you can't swim there. I was walking around the corner where I think you can swim. And uh, I can see people wading. But I'm, yeah, I've only brought out wetsuit shorts and a top. We'll see what happens. Pools, classic French activity. I used to play it as a kid and uh, I kind of miss it. It was kind of fun. I was reasonably good at it, but now my parents have an incredibly slopey garden, so I think it's super steep. I don't think we can play anymore. There's a load of people zipping around on like kite go-karty things. It looks like fun. And a bit crazy. I don't want to get hit by one of them. It is quite windy and I'm like, should I go for a swim? But uh, the, the tide is really low, so it's just incredibly sandy. I have an issue with sand, but uh, I've just seen this guy in the water and I see him running out of the water, appearing to just be in 
pant type sized things uh, and I'm like if he can do it I can do it right um, <laughs> yeah he might just also be totally insane but hey ho I don't know if any of this will get picked up because it's kind of windy and I keep having to look at where I'm putting my feet because there's a lot of shells I had a wee chat with the guy who'd been for a swim. He spoke way too fast for me to understand at all, but the gist of it was that the cold is in your head. And also maybe that his family thought he was crazy, but that didn't stop him. I stayed in saint georges de dodone for a couple of nights. It was actually just after my wing mirror collision, so that gives you an idea of how far behind I am with editing. And I needed to stay put for a wee bit. There was this wee beach near the air that I parked at, and public toilets with a shower on the other side, so when I wandered across to use them in the morning, I found myself picking up litter on the way back. When I get started, I find it hard to stop, so I probably spent almost an hour picking up litter and unfortunately did it all again the next day. There were a few moments when I thought, what's the point of this? I picked up a crazy amount the first day and there was even more the second. It feels a little hopeless, but I can't just walk past it. What surprises me is the amount of weird looks I got whilst doing it and how the majority of people just walked past, often to go pick up some driftwood to take home with them. One man stopped to ask me about it as I was struggling to cram more into a bin, but other than that, I was mostly ignored. have uh, kind of filled the bin and couldn't get this last big bit in so hopefully the binman will understand and it's wedged enough that it won't end up back out at sea. I am rather happy with France this morning. <laughs> I had both my side windows open a little bit last night uh, and I'm still like in my head I'm like it's February this is amazing. Um, <laughs> definitely would not be the case in Scotland. There's no condensation on my windows because they were open and it was mild. I've got a little bit on my front windscreen but I did have a wet towel hanging in the front last night that hadn't dried out. I've got wet gear hanging off the back of the van because I went in the sea yesterday. I can hear the sea from where I'm parked and if I look out the side window I can kind of see a tiny bit of beach and sea. Yeah, no complaints right now. Thank you France. So I've driven to a McDonald's in an attempt to use their Wi-Fi because it's quite early in my month in terms of data and I've been using too much and I have a video to sort out and uh, no luck, the internet isn't working. I don't actually eat McDonald's so it's not like I can go in and ask because they'll probably figure it out that I'm just using their Wi-Fi. Which I wouldn't do to a small company but I figure McDonald's can manage. So I also need to do laundry, I'm going to drive five minutes up the road to washing machines uh, at a supermarket. Hope that magically there happens to be Wi-Fi there, but I think it's unlikely. Um, and I don't know, if not, maybe just suck it up and use data. But then I will run out this month and it costs an absolute fortune to add data onto my plan. So, yeah. I'm just not, not, not feeling it today. I'm just a bit like, ugh, can I just sort this out? Just just want an easy day. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? Sometimes yes. Right, I'm going to drive up the road. I haven't driven much actually since my uh, wing mirror incident and I'm still a little bit like, Ugh. I went down a narrow bit with a van that looked uh, like the same type of van as the one that smashed into me the other day and I was like, Ugh. I just totally, well pretty much stopped. Whereas usually I'd be like, I know the size of my vehicle, I can keep going. Um, but I'm a little bit like, if I hit that wind mirror again, <laughs> uh, yeah, no way I can afford that. So, just a little bit like, uh, today, but it's fine. Laundry take two, I um, couldn't find the washing machine at the supermarket I went to, but it was also just too busy, the road was busy, the car park was busy, there were height barriers on sections of it, so I couldn't like drive to the other side. Uh, just... I'm having one of those days where everything feels a bit overwhelming and my list was probably a bit too long for everything I was going to try and achieve today. Um, and 
I need to get further down the road so I can't just do what I want to do and hide. Um, going to see my cousin and his family tomorrow, which is really nice. I haven't seen them in a decade. Um, but it does mean I need to get further down the road because I didn't move yesterday and I'm a little way away from them. So I think like a couple of hours. I was planning to split it, do half of it today and then a bit tomorrow morning. Um, there were some things I wanted to see along the coast as well, but I, I don't know. At the moment, I'm just like, laundry is in a washing machine. It was different to all the other ones I've used. So, it, I yeah, <laughs> just like, it's in the wash. It's fine. Um, I think there is Wi-Fi from the supermarket, so I'm going to try and connect my laptop to that and get a video up. And I should never plan this much on a day. I just I go out and then there's people everywhere. I get overwhelmed and I go, why can't I just live in the woods somewhere with a little stream to wash myself and my clothes and no people, <laughs> no noise. <laughs> oh dear. Was I supposed to click the other one as well? I don't want them to send me stuff. Oh... I'm on leftover couscous for lunch. I made a load last night and I'm quite glad because I just can't cope with dealing with food right now. <laughs> but I do need to eat. I am not having the best day. Uh, something wiggled itself loose with my electrics and uh, has overheated a bit and smells funny. And I had this happen once before. I think I've caught it before it got that bad. But um, yeah, luckily I checked. I sometimes check the app when I'm driving. Um, just load it and refresh it just to check that it's charging and that I've definitely like turned my solar off and it's charging at the right rate and um, I thought that's not quite right I thought I'd go check in case I hadn't turned my solar off and yeah there was like this doesn't smell right so um, I've got a fan running on it at the moment to cool that area down and then in a minute I'll just um yeah, go tighten everything up and pff, that's how I feel today. I'm just like, meh. Not, not in the mood to deal with things going wrong. And now this is how my upload is going. Very, very slowly. Okay, that's slight progress. Oh. Okay, so I've just had to unscrew this again, which I had put in just to make sure it would all fit in, but I can't get these tight enough because uh, there's not enough space basically against here so I've pulled the whole lot out I'm going to do this I've just had a chat with my brother and <laughs> made sure I've got the washers in the right order which I didn't have slight injury occurred um, and then hopefully this will all be sorted and I can finally get on the road just like two hours later than planned I was in high stress mode when trying to deal with this and that's even before I tried to slice through one of my fingers and I don't really film when I feel like that. When I'd had a loose connection before, it melted my negative bus bar slightly, and I bought a new one to swap it out, but then in true Kiki fashion never actually got around to changing it. But a connection had wiggled loose again, and this time there was no tightening it. But also one of the connections was rather stuck as the plastic of the bus bar was deformed and I couldn't get it off, which is why the whole thing took so long to sort out. I don't know if that makes any sense, but if I'd filmed at the time, I'm sure I would have made even less sense. As my brother pointed out when I was on the phone to him, at least it wasn't raining whilst I was dealing with this. Maybe if I'd been less stressed, I would have actually appreciated being parked opposite the beach. I was kind of tired after today and uh, was planning to drive a bit further tonight, but then I just came across this place and um, let me turn my camera around. And I figured... Why not just stop here? It's handy there are already a couple of vans here. I probably wouldn't have noticed the spot. I'd have just kept on driving down the road. But yeah, this will work for tonight. <laughs> I'm going to curl up in the back of the van. I'm tired. The spaces aren't entirely flat, so I've parked a bit oddly, but I don't think anyone will mind. So there is a road just there. Uh, it's currently a little bit noisy by my standards. I can also be seen by houses and stuff, but... Oh, well, I guess no peeing outside tonight unless it's really dark. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it'll do for the night. Ugh, I'm tired. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share. It really helps me out. See you guys next week.